Thanks for coming. Um, today is, um, that's called uh, Fukushima Amsterdam, and I just want to explain a little bit of the context of the event. Uh, as you know, there was a tragedy in Japan that happened in March. Um, collected, there was a lot of goodwill that came into the country. They collected sort of groundbreaking amounts of money to rebuild the country. Um, but there was one region that was kind of cut off and sort of forgotten, uh, and that's where Fukushima is, where sort of the nuclear reactor had its accident, and still to this day, it's um, still, they haven't been able to shut it down. And what's really sad is that the people there, there's still people living there, uh, the government haven't really taken initiative to move the people out. And uh, also, sort of the whole country is just kind of uh, turning a blind eye to it. So it's being kind of cut off. So there was an initiative in Japan called Project Fukushima, uh, started by several musicians, to just kind of you know bring the eyes back into what's happening there. Um, so the original idea was to host an outdoor festival in Fukushima. And they didn't really know until the last day whether it was really safe enough to bring all the people there. And they did uh, you know, thorough research, had some ideas of how to limit the radiation. And part of the whole intention of it was to just kind of face the reality of what it is to live with the high doses of, doses of radiation. And basically, all of Japan is going to have to live with this for the next um, coming years. Uh, and so they asked, the organizer asked uh, people around the world also to do an event on the same day. Uh, so here in uh, Stein in Amsterdam, we decided to do this event. Um, just to make things clear, this is not really a charity event. So the money you paid isn't going to be really sent to Fukushima. It's going to be spent on running this event. So it's, it's, uh, we're paying the artists that their cost to come here for all the costs and so on. It was just, you know, I, I thought about it a little bit. The interesting thing that happened in Japan right after the earthquake was that there were so many charity events that actually the musicians got really poor. <laughs> yeah, there was a word, I mean, Japan is famous for different kind of poorness, um, but one was called a you know, musician poor. <laughs> so they'd get invited and then you'd pay for your own taxi and your costs. You couldn't really say no and so on. So I wanted to avoid that. 
And also, just because I was touched by the organizer's intention that this whole situation is going to be going on for 30, 50 years. And the organizers told me that, you know, even, even after they die, their, the next generation is going to have to face this. So it really felt like, you know, how to organize something in a sustainable way. And it came at the same time when there was all these budget cuts in Holland. And also our institution is faced with the reality that we can't really fund our concerts and, and events on, but I felt like it shouldn't be stopped there. So we're, we're running everything off the door money, and um, all the artists are kind of playing on their goodwill. So I'm glad to see this many people to come out, and I hope to be able to organize this in the following years. Uh, so we're going to start the evening with uh, the people at home um, in The Hague, and then uh, we're going to have a dance and clarinet duo by Michael Moore and uh, Matiko, and then we'll have a short break. Uh, hope you enjoy the show. Yeah. 
Pierre. Mademoiselle Sophie. August in Holland. The 
sound of rain. In the canal.